All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year six with our Quebec City Ace Nordiques. Last video, we started up the uh, year six season simulation, and you know what? Our team is playing pretty good so far, 7-1-0. and oh. uh, Last year, going back to two years actually now, uh, last year's trade deadline and the years before that trade deadline, I, I made some line changes going back to then, and we seem to be a really good team with those line changes. So starting off the year this year, I really wanted to use those examples exact same lines that I did for the last two years and so far I mean it's worked out perfectly we had a bit of a slow preseason which was kind of weird but uh, we've answered back with a seven and one start during the regular season so all things are uh, pointing to a good year this year but I made the mistake last year with green not checking out the progress reports this is something I have to pay attention to this year because already one month in sure we're seven and one but you can already see that the same problem might be happening to some of the younger players especially Especially uh, Kyle Clifford, who's killing our penalty kill right now. One stat that I want to keep an eye on is that defensive awareness. It started up at 87, shot blocking was 87, and stick checking was 84. So it was like a perfect guy to put on that penalty kill. But now it's dropped to 85, 85, 82, which is still decent, right? But another month is going to drop to 83, 83, 81. If so, then it maybe should put like somebody else up there, right? So there's a little bit more in depth uh, strategy that I got to worry about. But you know what? It kind of gives me something to do because now. With the goalie automated rotations for NHL 14. I mean, I was pretty much simulating the whole year in one video. So this would be a lot better, all right? We'll just do one month at a time with the current line changes that we have. Eddie Lack is still going to be our, our goaltender. Uh, no, okay. Now, you know what? I can also... Uh, I guess I did not do that in the last video. I did it for the free agency, but I might as well just... Um, edit my trading block so I don't have to have trades coming every two seconds, and I think it actually does speed up the simulation slightly. So, trading block, let me just erase all this stuff, erase all this, don't need any draft picks. There you go, and there you go. We're holding on to Hendrickson, he's the perfect third or fourth line grinder of the future for us. All right. And uh, Mantha as well, I'm hoping Mantha, for next year, Mantha, you know, like uh, the second line... It, the second line's kind of getting old. You got Shore in there who's going to stay on our team for a while. But Mueller and McCallick, I mean, they're one bad year away from being traded off our team. I mean, I like them last year. The reason they're on our team this year is because last year they all had like 60-point seasons, all 25-goal seasons, all three of them on the same line, right? So I like the way that they played. So that's the reason I brought them back. But still... Um, you know, with our young guns getting better, if Anthony Mantha turns out to be like an 85 overall power forward for next year, you damn right he's going on the second line. He's going straight to that second line, okay? So, I'm holding on my rookie still. We are still a young team, but we're also a team that can win that President's Trophy and also uh, be competitive for that Stanley Cup. I'm hoping anyways, okay? So, that's why I want to hold on to those older players right now. Uh, but I still feel like we are a young team. We have some veteran players, but you know what? The core of our team is Jonathan Huberdeau, obviously, up front. He's our center, right? How old is Jonathan Huberdeau now? Like uh, 24, 25? So you know what? Yeah, I guess we're not that young anymore. We're at the beginning of our prime. We should be the, the beginning of our dynasty, you know what I mean? Uh, you got uh, Capitan... No, 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 uh, sorry. Uh, Huberdeau is like 24. Everly, who's like 27 now, 26. So again, he's in the middle of his prime. Perfect. I don't have to worry about him for like five years. And Kapitanov, he's pretty much just started alongside with uh, Morgan Riley and Ekblad. Those guys are in their early 20s as well. So, you know, we we have an easy seven years with these guys, you know. Uh, I could see Everly at 34 years old starting to trail off a little bit because he's already 86 overall. So, you know, a couple bad years, he could easily become a, a second line forward. But still, he's a goal scorer, so he's staying on our team. And uh, I don't know, maybe he won't be leading our team in goals, but... As long as our team is winning games, winning those uh, President's Trophies, I'm fine with it. Okay, I like the makeup of our team right now. I feel like if you have too many superstars in a GM mode, it just it doesn't mesh well together, right? I mean, you just won't get the point of game players. You have to have the right number of players, the power play players, the penalty kill players, and I I, I don't know what it is, but with these lineups, I like the way our team plays, and I just want to run run the year with these lineups right here. Because look at this: after another month of simulating, 17 three and two, 18 three and two. Okay, we're above a five to one loss ratio, so everything is going great for us. So now we will take a look at every everything and um you know what hang on one second here boys all right that's much better okay so what was i going to do right there um yeah yeah we're going to check out all the standings all the team stats all the standings all that good stuff so right now for points we are first in the nhl with 38 i'd imagine that with uh, that record pretty good 
Uh, goals four per game. Well, goals four per game. We're third in the NHL, so that's good. You know, I always like to. Uh, I never like to be first in the NHL for goals four. I mean, I like to be, but like if we're first like in points in the NHL and we're not first for goals four, you know, our goals against is really good. And to me, that's a more important stat: goals against than goals for. Our goals against is one point six five. Holy shit! All right, so this is the difference. Remember last year, green on the team, the goals against suffered. All right, but then we made the trade, and we made, not the trade, we made the uh, the changes at the trade deadline. I got the exact same line changes that we as we did at the last two trade deadlines. Whatever lineups they are, they seem to work really good with this Quebec City Ace Nordic team. Goals against average. I mean, goal. I mean, goals against per game, one point six five. Good God. Uh, power play percentage. All right, good again, twenty two point four, decent. Not the best in the NHL, but watch the penalty kill. Uh, never mind. Yeah, okay, never mind. The penalty kill is not the greatest. 85.3. So maybe Clifford could uh, be taken off that penalty kill. But right now, we're playing so good, I don't want to make any changes. 7-2-1 and one at home, and 11-1-1 one and one on the road. 8-1-1 one and one in the last 10. We're playing freaking outstanding, okay? We don't need to touch anything. Uh, player stats for the season. Let's just see who's doing what for us. I'd imagine, I think that second line's doing pretty good. I think I saw Metallica up there. So this is what I mean about this second line. This second line is like... It's great for us, because if our first line's not doing good, which I don't I don't think that they're going to, you know, shit the bed. But, I mean, look at McCallick, 21 points in 23 games. Huberto, 19 points in 23 games. That's good enough for him. Mueller, 18 points in 23 games. I mean, that's amazing. Eberle, 15 points in 23 games. Not the greatest, and he's actually trailed off a little bit for goals. But that's maybe just because the second line is getting so many goals as well, right? This is my argument. Like, if I had worse players on the second line, I guarantee you, Eberle, Huberto, and Kapitanov would have more points. But it's not just about getting the most points for your team. It's about winning the most games, winning that President's Trophy in the Stanley Cup. So we got a good top six here that evenly scores. I'm going to leave that. Hayes, five. Mathia, uh, Mathias, five. Uh, Clifford, four. Tyrell, four. All right, all these guys down here. Go to plus. They should all be plus players. Yeah, they're every single one of them are a plus player. Okay, and then defensively, Kapitanov. Kapitanov's doing good in that first line, so that's what I mean. Like the first line's getting it done. Morgan Riley, twelve. Ekblad, twelve. Myers, ten. All right, all these guys, and they're all plus players as well. And then goaltenders, yeah, this is what I'm talking about, all right? It seems like Markstrom is better suited as a goaltender who doesn't play a lot of games, but when he does play, he comes in and just destroys it, all right? this We got a really healthy one-two punch here. It seems like Markstrom's okay with being the backup, all right? Because last year we played him and we didn't have the greatest regular season. This year, I mean, they're both both their goals against average are below two, 15-3-0 for Lack. Uh, 3-0 for Markstrom, and a save percentage, I mean, look at that. This is exactly what we had the last two years at the trade deadline. This is what we were missing last last year all throughout the beginning of the year, right? So our lineups right now are perfect, but what I got to do is just make sure, because if we start to lose games, I want to know why, so I can make that change right away. All right, so it looks like Clifford may be capped off at that uh, drop. All right, because he was a, a third liner, they dropped him down by a minus two, but I think he might stay there now. Uh, all right, so that's good. I don't think anyone else dropped because it looks all the same right here. Yeah, defense. It looks all the same. Like 11 was what it was at before. Yeah, his defensive awareness is still there. Uh, yeah, Kapitanov grew. Hayes dropped. Uh, ooh, look at that. Myers and Riley, they, they grew up a little bit. That's good. All right, so they're having good years. Yeah, that's all taken care of. Uh, Markstrom dropped just because he's not getting his games, but uh, he's still growing. AHL, they're not growing at all. All right, so I'm not going to make any line changes whatsoever. We're still good for right now, so let's go another month, all right? All the way up here to... January 1st. Now we're on a 3 to 1 loss ratio basically. Uh, we're above 3 to 1 loss ratio. So, I mean, we're kind of on pace for that 60 win season, but I mean, we're not even halfway done the year just yet. So, I mean, you can easily lose the uh, 60 win season with like a 5 game losing streak. So, I'm not going to uh, jinx us just yet and say I want a 60 win season. All I do want this year is a uh, uh, an Eastern Conference win. And a President's Trophy. I mean, the President's Trophy may not happen. You know, like uh, another team in the Western Conference may just take it from us and there's nothing that we can do about it. But as for the East, 
we can win the Eastern Conference. With all these games against e Eastern Conference opponents, we can beat them early on in the season, take those points away, and never look back, okay? So I'd like to win that President's Trophy. It would really uh, uh, improve our dynasty run that I hope that we can be on. I still feel like the dynasty is a possibility. We won the Cup two years ago with the President's Trophy, all right? A first-round exit last year, sure, it looks bad, but if you come back with another solid year this year, last year kind of just looks like a misstep. You know what I mean? Uh, but it, we have to have a good year this year because if we don't make the playoffs or if we get kicked out in the first round again, then it's like two consecutive years after a cup win. Then you kind of look like the Chicago Blackhawks. Blackhawks were lucky enough to win. Well, not lucky, but they won the Stanley Cup after two first-round exits, kind of salvaged it, but it doesn't look the greatest, does it? It's like a Stanley Cup win, first-round, first-round Stanley Cup win. I'm sure... I mean, it's great they won the Stanley Cup twice. I'm not going to bring them down or anything, but you guys know what I'm talking about. As for a dynasty, those two first-round exits before or between them, it just takes away from a, a little bit. I'm hoping for uh, I'm hoping for a good run here in Quebec City where we can get back in it. And, uh, I mean, anything less than a Stanley Cup this year really does hurt us. I mean, even a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals, it seems like it's good, but no one would remember that in the... In the eyes of a dynasty, right? We really do need to bring home some hardware this year. And then maybe we can have another break next year. You know what I mean? Then it's at least two in three years or two in four years. And then that fifth year, you can come back with maybe three in five years. I think if you get three in five years, that's a dynasty for sure. That's got to be a dynasty. Three in five years? Absolutely. Maybe not technically, but in the modern age, for sure that is. Uh, yeah, like if Chicago could win the cup again this year, they'd be a dynasty. Modern day dynasty for sure, man. Three, three cups in five years, two first round exits, but like, yeah, it's, it's tough. I know I was reading your comments. You guys were saying that official dynasties are what three cups in four years and then five cups in, uh, nine years or something like that, or seven years or eight years. That's pretty tough, man. That's like, that's like a legitimate dynasty. All right. So. We are still playing great, 25, 8, and 2. We have uh, fallen off from that 3-to-1 loss ratio, but I think we lost in like the last three games. Yeah, we were on a nice little winning streak right there. And then in the last three games, three losses, okay? But that's okay. I mean, I, I don't need a 60-win season. That's, uh, that's uh, asking for a lot. So... Again, we will check out the progress reports. I'm not going to check out the stats. I would like to do one more month of simulating, but uh, we will check out the progress reports just to see if anyone has dropped any more. See what I mean? Clifford's still at 10, and like uh, Hart to Canaan's at 11. I think that they've stayed the same now. I think maybe this is just me speculating, right? But maybe at the beginning of the year, when you start playing them, they automatically adjust after a few games based on where you're playing them. So Clifford, he's good enough that he could be playing on the uh, second line, but because he's got third line time, he's not getting any ice time, so he uh, regresses down into what a third line checking forward should be. Right? Maybe, maybe. I'm just speculating. So I like all the progress reports. I don't need to check out the stats. We can go one more month, sure. We'll go up to... Uh We'll go up to, yeah, the first. There you go. I would like to get to the trade deadline in this video, but uh, might not happen because I got to check the progress reports. All right, but if we keep winning games, there's four in a row now. So you see what I mean? Starting to lose some games, but that's okay. I mean, we've won enough now that uh, we should be good enough. But the President's Trophy, I want to keep an eye on that. There you go. All right, it'd be nice if we can answer back with some wins now, boys, because... Those uh, four losses in a row, that does equal a lot. If we wanted to maintain our 3-to-1 loss ratio, after those four losses, we have to win like 12 in a row to get it back to 12-4, and four, right? I know that's not going to happen, but still, we won those early games. Just go on a little bit of a tear and just give me some peace of mind. Just let me know that that was just coincidence. It's not going to be like a trend now that's going to start to happen. Come on, all right, there's another loss after two wins. Answer back with a win against the New Jersey Devils. They're not that good of a team, right? Yeah, 15, 21, and 4. We can beat them. Corey Schneider in the net. You can score on him. Let's go. Let's go. Don't give me 11 losses. Don't give me 11 losses. All right, overtime loss. We got points. Come on now, boys. We're starting to, like, lose a few games here. I want to keep that amazing stretch that we were doing. Keep it up. Um, now, the forward to the WHL, right? They had three forwards in there. Hang on. Come on. All right, so... Got a few top 10s in here. Oh, yeah, you got a bunch of top 10s. Yeah, I'll just keep on going in the uh, the WHL. We'll, we'll search that. Maybe get some depth uh, in that draft. So, no matter what, let's just go all the way up to the month. If we start to uh, shit the bed, we'll take a look at why and then maybe make some changes. All right, maybe uh, some of the progress reports. Did I all press A? I thought I pressed A. What the hell? Um, I think I've checked all the progress reports, right? I mean, nobody else defensive awareness should have dropped. I don't think so. Unless they are dropping and I haven't noticed it. 
from the progress reports because of age, but I don't think there's anyone on my roster who would drop because of age. I think everyone's younger than 34 years old. Pretty sure. I'll check back again. Man, I'm getting paranoid from that last year. I feel like this this could be a really good regular season for us. Last year was my own fault, man. I truly mean that. Like, I know it may sound like an excuse always just saying that because uh, he wanted to think that he could win the President's Trophy. I mean, if, if we just had the right line changes from the beginning of last year, screw green, right, and uh, had like Tory Krug in there or made a trade for another defender, I think we could have won that President's Trophy. We still ended up with like fourth in the NHL, which was good. But I felt like we lost it. Like I mean, look how we're playing this year. And we had the exact same team that we had two years ago when we won the President's Trophy and the uh, and the Cup. We got three players who were different. Uh, two fourth liners, Peverly and uh, Prust, who are now Hayes and... Um, oh, who's my fourth line center now? Uh, uh, oh, man, I forget. It's... Um, ah, crap. I forget. Irwin is that defenseman. Oh, you know what? I'll have to go back in there and check. I can't believe I forget. I changed him last year to uh, Brodziak and uh, somebody else. It was Hayes last year as well, yeah. And then this year we got a new uh, fourth line center. But, um, yeah, as for... And, and uh, Green. Green is our defenseman as our bottom six. Everybody else is exactly the same, so I don't buy that our team can't be a good team. I, I think we're a good team. And, I mean, we're proving it so far. 33-12-3, and three. so everything is going quite well for the Quebec City Ace Nordiques, all right? So yeah, we should be sitting in first. Yeah, I don't need to make any changes, so let's take this one to the trade deadline. All right, we'll go up to the trade deadline in this video. Don't need to make any changes. Our team is uh, running the table right here. I don't even need to check out progress reports. I think we're good. Unless we lose, like, uh, five in a row, then I'll quickly check out progress reports. But I just uh, I would like to get this, uh, this video. I'd like to get up to the trade deadline in this video. So let's just try to do it. We're a good team. We're going we're gonna to be a competitive team. And I just hope that we can maybe win that President's Trophy this year. There you go. Keep getting those wins. You got to get those wins against the Eastern Conference teams as well. Montreal's a big one. They got a pretty decent record. Ooh, they beat us. Come on, boys. Got to stop losing these games to these Eastern Conference teams. You want to win. The Toronto Maple Leafs, they got a decent record as well. They could catch up to us if we start faltering. Let's go. There you go. There's a big win. All right, so 35 and uh, 17. So we started off on a 3-to-1 loss ratio. We've fallen back down to a 2-to-1 loss ratio, which is decent. All right, there you go. There's another loss. God damn it, guys. Let's go. Oh, right at the right, right at the wrong time. I wanted to have a good end. Oh, my God. Why right at the end of the season do you guys have to start losing games? We had such a good run going on, and now you just start to lose it. God damn it. So frustrating. Philadelphia, they're not a good team. Come on. I'll check out the progress reports if we lose to these guys. Holy shit. See, now we're starting to lose games, and I don't know why. We had such a good year, and now three, four of the last five, all right, losing games like crazy. Yeah, I got to fix this. All right, so we got to figure out. Now, it could just be coincidence, right? But uh, where do we sit in the uh, standings? See what I mean? Buffalo is now taking us over with 76 points. We now, and uh, the Phoenix Coyotes have 84 points. So see what I mean? We're starting to lose this season now because of our own shit. Uh, GM options. Let me just check out progress reports. Uh, yeah, everyone should still be good, man. No, everyone should be good. Everyone's still at the same. I don't see anyone dropping like crazy. Hayes, is he dropped? No, he's fine. Uh, no, we're all fine still. I think it's just coincidence. All right, so I'm going to run with you guys until the end of the, uh, or to the trade deadline. Just get me some wins. Come on, get me some, give me three of these last five games. Holy shit, another regulation loss. Oh my god, guys, let's go. This is so frustrating. Jesus. How are you guys losing now? You have played so good, and now you've lost like five in a row, four in a row. Oh, I hate, I hate losing streaks. I don't mind losing like one or two in a row if you answer back with some wins, but damn it, I hate like four or five lo uh, game losing streaks. They just ruin your season, man. They just completely ruin it. There's another loss. Ho, 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 ho. Right at the wrong time, boys. We're losing that President's Trophy. Jesus. Scouting assignments. Um... Forwards, uh, we did the WHL already, right? Yep. Uh, I could go OHL. There's two top tens in there. Yeah, we'll go OHL forwards. There you go. All right. And uh, three more games. Come on, boys. Three more games to go. We're 36 and 22 now, so we've fallen way below tw uh, two to one loss ratio. Still a great record, but still, man, I wanted to win the President's Trophy right here, and we're losing. Right at the end of the year, we're losing. All right, there's a good game against Dallas. Finally, we get an easy team to beat. But we're beating these Western Conference teams. I, I, you got to beat the Eastern Conference teams to win that Eastern. I want I want to face an easy team in the first round. Chicago, they're a tough team. There you go. We win against Chicago. All right, against uh, Winnipeg. Go three in a row here before the trade deadline. Come on, another win. 
Oh my god, another loss. Alright, so not the greatest end right there. Um, one loss, two losses, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, eight, and uh, one, two, three, four, f uh, five, six, seven. We went seven and eight since the trade deadline. So right there, you know what I mean? A stretch like that, you can lose the President's Trophy, and I think we just did. Um, I mean, it's up to the other teams, but we have 80 points. We're tied with Carolina, which is good. Buffalo's only got two points ahead of us, so, I mean, we can still win that Eastern Conference. The Eastern Conference is still up for grabs, and we do we have any games against Buffalo? Uh, we got a game against Buffalo, so that's good news. Yeah, we got a game against Buffalo and, and Carolina. So, you know what? We can win the Eastern Conference, but the Phoenix Coyotes, they're already up to 92 points, all right? So they're 12 points ahead of us. Uh, so the President's Trophy doesn't look like it's going to happen this year unless we go on a tear and Phoenix, you know, slows it down a little bit. But you can blame it on that little stretch since the uh, since the All-Star break. Seven and eight. Right there, we lost it, all right? We left 16 points on the table. Uh, but you know what? Still a good year. It doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that in the first round we don't have to go up against somebody who's outstanding. That's all I'm really going for. The President's Trophy would have been nice. But uh, you're asking for a lot if you want that kind of hardware every year. So right now, in the NHL, we sit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th. All right. Uh, Phoenix, the good news about Phoenix is they have two games in hand, right? We have 61 games played. They have uh, 63. So they're only ahead of us by a possible 8, potentially, right? But uh, that is if we win the next two games. We still got to win those games. Uh, goals four per game. We are fourth in the NHL. That's good. Goals against per game, seventh. So it started off good, but then it uh, trailed off, okay? It might be the goaltenders uh, because they are not elite goal goalies. Power play percentage right there. Uh, or maybe it could be the uh, penalty kill as well. Penalty kill, 85%, though. You know what? That's decent. I'm happy with that because 85% is basically... You're basically tied for seventh, all right? It's good enough for me in the NHL. If we had elite goalies, maybe that would help it out a little bit, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, our home record, look at that. Our home record is pretty bad, 14-11-2. Our away record, 24-8-2. And, and our last 10, 4-6-0. Oh. So you see what I mean? Like a bad stretch right there at the uh, at the end of the year. And uh, we've lost the President's Trophy. But you know what? I'd still rather have this kind of season than last year's kind of season. So, you know what? It was still a good year. Uh, stats, we'll check out the uh, player stats for the season. All right. Looks like uh, our first line has taken over the goal scoring lead on this team, which is good news. I saw Everly up there leading the goals for and uh, Jonathan Huberdeau up there leading the goals against. So that's always good news. Um, all right. So Jonathan Huberdeau, 61 points in 61 games. That's good news. Everly, 44 points in 61 games. That's good news. Uh, he's not quite on pace for that 40 goal season, but he's getting our goals. He's our leading goal scorer. All right. Uh, Mueller, 41 points, McCallick, 40 points, and Shore, 33. Uh, I think Shore trailed off a little bit this year, but, uh, Mueller, McCallick, they're having a great year. They should get 50 points. Uh, Clifford, Hayes, Matthias, uh, Ty Tyrell, that was the new one I got. All right, there you go. All right, uh, all right, so it looks like our fourth and third liners, they, uh, started to become minus players a little bit. All right, so, uh, that's understandable. Uh, defenseman, all right, Capitano, 62 points in 61 games. Morgan Riley, 39. Uh, Ekblad, 36, Myers, 23, Kulikov, 17, Braun, 14, and uh, Good Branson, 13. All right, and goaltenders. All right, so Eddie Lack, 2.23, Markstrom, 2.18. So, see what I mean? Still great goals against average, but they have, you know, fallen back down to earth a little, a little bit. Uh, Markstrom, still great when he comes in, 7 2 and 1. Lack, though, this guy's a great regular season goalie, 31 17 and 1. All right, save percentage, 92.23, and Markstrom, 92.65. So, these guys are playing great for us. All right, I maybe we're not going to win that President's Trophy, but uh, I don't. Uh, you know, I'm going to say it right here. We don't need to make any changes. No changes whatsoever. No trades. No nothing. All right. I like this team. I want to give this team a chance to win the cup this year. Um, again, the progress reports haven't dropped anymore. Matthias is still up there for defense. All right. Uh, shot blocking. Oh, no. Look at that. Has it dropped even more? Because it says minus one now. But now his shot blocking is at 81. Before, and his defensive awareness hasn't dropped now. So what? Has it dropped by another 11? Ooh. That could be interesting. All right, all right, all right. So his defensive awareness now is 85, but shot blocking and stick checking, 81 and 82. So maybe Clifford should come off the uh, the penalty kill. Uh, defense, no, Hartigan is still fine on the penalty kill. Uh, Clifford, oh no, well, I was looking at Matthias, my bad. Matthias is not Clifford, right? <laughs> I'm an idiot, never mind. Yeah, yeah, Clifford 
Yeah, yeah, okay, it's still the same, so we're still good. All right, so that's all taken care of. Uh, Riley, yeah, Riley's getting a little bit better. Maybe Riley could kill off some penalties now. His defensive awareness and shot blocking is good. All right, so I will show you guys the lineups. We're not making any trades, but if you guys have any, maybe some line changes, we could do that, right? But remember, we are sitting in like fourth or fifth in the NHL with two games in hand. So the team is playing good. It's just the last stretch that we've been on, it hasn't been the greatest, right? But the penalty kill. It's looking like that. Uh, I still think that's decent. I, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But I think we're going to be nitpicking if we want to find problems on this team. 38-19-4 at the trade deadline. Sure, we had a little bit of a, a rough patch right there. But uh, you know what? Good to get that rough patch out of the way before the, uh, the playoffs, all right? So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.